Back to Mother Nature, Yen River in fall. It was a fall morning. Together we created yet another memorable experience, this time on a journey to the Perfume Pagoda. It seems that tourists often flock to the sacred site in spring to enjoy the festive atmosphere of the season. Our trip, however, held a different meaning. It was a chance for us to come back to Mother Nature. No drizzle, chilling air or cues of Buddhist pilgrims in sight. Our journey to the Perfume Pagoda was more tranquil than we could ever hope for. As clouds silhouetted against the water surface, Yen River in autumn seemed to be clearer and bluer. On the river, water lilies quietly blossomed, a sight ever so simple, yet managing to take our breath away. As our boat was drifting, at times we felt as if we had become one with nature. To most of us, this was not the first journey to Perfume Pagoda. And yet, a hint of surprise flashed across all our faces. Perhaps the impression of a bustling Perfume Pagoda was carved so deep in our minds that we forgot how sacred this site once was hailed, the most beautiful place in Vietnam. Serene, tranquil, and granted raw, grand beauty by nature. When the festival season is over, Perfume Pagoda returns to its original beauty, a hidden charm that not everyone would have the chance to adorn. That raw beauty of Perfume Pagoda awoke something inside each of us. It was the regret of causing damage to the environment, whether intentional or unintentional. It was also the grief over ruined nature, and for some, it was, was a desire to truly become a part of Mother Nature. As for myself, I was reminded of Buddhism's enrichment philosophy. As someone might have said before, each human is a small universe, connecting to a greater universe we are living in. The trip to Perfume Pagoda and Fall to each member of PMC was not merely a picnic, nor a place where we shared memories together. It was where we gained for ourselves a great life lesson. After the journey, we will carry on our work as humans who respect Mother Nature and respect the community just as much as we respect ourselves.